Welcome back to the Bearded Hiker. So in the last video you seen, you'd have seen me, and I said we did chip in, and I didn't know where I was gonna go next day, and I'm just gonna decide. So I decided, um, I got up, did a lot of packing. This is on the Monday, did a lot of packing, did all the stuff, because I've got quite a busy week ahead, and weekend, etc. So I did all the packing, got down here, and when I got here, uh, the wind and the rain was just, was mental. Now, look at the mountain weather, which is the, the one that you should pretty much look at all the time. Don't go looking at the BBC weathers and all the rest, because they don't, they're not, they're not put the best. Um, so look at that. Um, it said 70 kilometers an hour plus. Um, so I was like, Phew. so I let it, I let it rest a little bit um, and then it got worse and then it started getting dark and I was like right okay and then within like an hour of it being dark it cleared up like, and I was like do I go or do I go with all my gear and pitch up up there and then just do it all in the dark and not actually enjoying anything it's just literally a night hiking not getting any views or do I sleep horribly for the night and go up lighter uh, take the drones get some good footage so I've come to a place called uh, seat sandal I think it's called oh, and, and um, what's it called let me try that sure ones are so Seat Sandal and Fairfield Peak. Now they're not they're not big. I'd say it's fun. They're not massive, but it's it's a great little climb. Um done all these before. And the thing is on these videos that I'm trying to do, I, I've done loads of them. Uh, I'm trying to do the biggest mountains, the more fun, more fun for you to see, you know, all that kind of stuff, but, um, yeah, every climb that you do is never easy, remember this, it's always a challenge, it's always fun, but it's never easy, so it doesn't matter where you go, what you do, all the rest of the stuff, always remember, enjoy what you do, enjoy the hiking, enjoy just being there, so, I've got like a, this this week ahead. Um, obviously, coming here today, uh, gonna go hike these two. Um, might go to another one yet, just depending on time. And then I'm coming back. And when I come back, I am then gonna go drive. I'm gonna go do things that I haven't done before, right? Okay. So, whenever I'm out hiking, I always carry light, and that is the key food ration packs which is your dried food so one thing i've never done which i'm doing so i'm coming to meet nick so she's part of uh, nick explores on uh, instagram if you want to follow it um who is hiking with us which is a great little partnership and it's real fun um so gonna go meet her and then we're going to Langdale, which I've showed you in previous videos, but um, gonna go do Langdale and get a different perspective with two people instead of just the one. Um, I know it's good because you've got your Angel Tarn and uh, Bowfell, and it's just a nice little two day hike. So I'm gonna, it's just a nice little clips. There's so many other places to go. I want to go to Scotland, go do stuff up there in Wales, but just for two two nights and it's yeah, two nights kind of two days because not full days so far let's just go there it's just a nice place to go and um, so anyway i'm taking I'm, 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 we're gonna try and cook steak steak of all things up there we're gonna get some potatoes some veg so 
I bought some different things which I'll do reviews on. Uh, one by MSR, um, which is a little burner, like a little which goes in the gas. So I'm gonna do a little review on that. I've got the old kind of ration tins to try cook the uh, the veg in, uh, and I've got a jet boil frying pan. So all these different little things. Um, and then we're going to try to cook some food up there. So it's going to be fun. Now I'm looking at these mountains now and the sun's coming out. So I'm going to get ready and I'm going to go. So yeah, just a multi-day hiking. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy my hikes. I hope you enjoy my videos. I think the videos are getting better. Ah, one thing to say. Uh, when I was on Triffin, I dropped the drone, not at the top, but dropped it down. Didn't think anything of it. Fine. This is the little DJI Mini 3 Pro. Um, so uploading some of your stuff onto the computer and the gimbal stopped working. Oh, Yeah, gimbal has stopped working. So um, if you're dealing with DJI, they are... It's just so helpful. I messaged them. They've sent me some um, labels and invoices to put on top of the box for UPS. Uh, and then my local one, I'm UK, so the local one today is the Netherlands. So it's going out to the Netherlands and hopefully see what happens there and see if you can try and fix it. So I am using my Air 2S, the one which has uh, a poorly arm. So for the next couple of days, I'm going to use that one. Uh, improvise, adapt and overcome is the tip of the day. So next time I see you, I'm going to be starting to hike. <laughs> Love it. It's fresh. Ah, oh, love these fresh mornings. It just good, clears your mind, it clears your head. This is the, the fun about the winter. Now, when you start getting the winter, it's not, it's not as a, uh, it doesn't get the wind as much, does it really? Do you know when, when it starts getting profits and the snow and, uh, I love all the seasons, honestly. Um, sun, amazing. Always amazing for your videos. Winter's just got something about it, hasn't it? Just that next level, that next, you know, taking it to the extremes and seeing the breath this morning. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Right. So, coming from the car park and I'll put the postcode on uh, to see where I've parked. Now you can park in other places, but this is, I'd say there, because it's not too far. And then you end up coming, uh, I'll show in a video where you go, but you end up coming and you go a footpath and then it leads you onto this. So, I shall see you on route. Uh, love it. I just love being hiking. It fills me with lots of joy. It doesn't matter where I am, as long as I'm outside experiencing this. What's not to love? Uh,
Look how gorgeous today is turning out. Just love it being here. Now, when you're coming up, a bit of a trek. I'd say a trek, it's a gentle walk. Gentle walk down and takes you down the side. Um, you follow a little path going up and I presume it goes round to your right and then I don't know. <laughs> I haven't even, do you know, doing this ages ago, you, you tend to forget your little roots. But going back and making these videos and showing you you know where where to go what to do what to look out for hopefully some little tips that you can learn from or you might know already but it's just that's all i do these for I just i love hiking and that's a fact you can put me anywhere and you'll see a big smile on my face and that's me but making these little videos is basically it's just so you can see what to expect or if you'd like to come uh, on the gradients, is it gonna be tough? Is it gonna be child friendly, dog friendly? Um, that's, that's what I'm looking out for. And also, as I've mentioned, if you are unable to come on these hikes, I just wanna, I wanna show you uh, the outdoors and you can just experience it with me and then everyone's everyone's enjoying it and hopefully with me talking and not yabbing on and but just me giving you a little low down on them um because just being here just makes you happy makes you just enjoy life makes you appreciate things appreciate what you've got uh makes you appreciate the troubles so the troubles that we have over the years because even though we have troubles in our lives and we they're always going to be on your mind always but coming out into the wild kind of lets you realize that sometimes when you're angry or you're frustrated Coming out here makes you realise why was I frustrated? Do you know, was it that big of a deal? Um, and then when you go back to your general routines, going to work, all that kind of stuff, it helps you realise. Now, I'm no saint and we all get frustrated, we all get tired, we all get agitated. But this for me is my reset. Just experiencing, just experiencing this and just looking up there and thinking, wow, I'm gonna go hike that. And when I get to the top, I'm gonna feel great. But I know that when we do get to the top, there's a lake and then it goes up again. So little challenges, uh, just, makes you feel good so please if you can come out and you can hike and you can experience these things come you don't have to do crazy big mountains you really don't just start small go on a little little gentle walk down the road or then go on a gentle walk up some hills um, so I haven't really I haven't really done the peak district much because for me it's it's more hilly i know you can do three peaks and there's all different ones and i am going to go and experience them but i've always been into pushing my boundaries pushing my limits pushing where i can get to and that and i truly don't believe that's for me but if you know we are we know what we can personally do and sometimes you don't realize how far you can go and uh, how far you can push the limits so just come on for the little hikes and just start getting the bug 
because it is a bug. It's the hiking bug and so many people are doing it now. When I, st when I came back into it again, I was noticing there wasn't that many young people. Now, there's all ages, all ages, loving it, experiencing it and doing what I'm doing as well. Getting like videos and vlogs and and just basically showing where you can go and where you can be. But hopefully you'll see a little insight into me anyway. <laughs> Alright, just on the on roof, met these two <laughs> lads, come and smashing it. Nice First time up here, yeah. jumping onto the videos, uh, loving it. They're gonna go up and hike that and then come all the way down which I'll probably do on the way down. But you enjoying it, lads? Nice Enjoy one. It. Love it. Nice one, mate. Good, lads. Smashed Good. whales galore. Now they're coming, smashing all these. <laughs> Love it. Stuck, Getting the weighing rights. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I went in the water. <laughs> uh, funny. Uh, brilliant. I love meeting people on the uh, on the hikes. Everyone's so friendly. We all, we always got stories, stories to tell and, and the trips we go on. The hiking community has no snobbery. Uh, ultra community does a bit, but the hike, general hiking, everyone's here for the same thing. To come and explore the mountains and just get along and then just talk stories and we love talking stories. Uh, oh, if you come up here before, you try to share tips with each other to then, you know, because they might have not been and or what to expect or how far to go. But I love, I just love the general, just the community and the vibe. And we do get the odd characters which let it down i.e. dropping litter, wearing inappropriate gear and putting the demand for uh, the rescue, mountain rescue teams. They're the ones that let us down, but everybody else is brilliant. Now, definitely making some pace as I'm going up here, but I'm going to go hike up there. I think that's the... I keep saying I'm doing the different ones, but it just looks so good. So I'll see what happens when I get to the top up there and see how I feel, but I just want to have a good, good day today. Didn't manage it yesterday. Uh, still got Langdale later, which is a great climb up the uh, waterfalls uh, challenge. Little, yeah, I guess the sweat. It gets the heart pumping. Um, but I've still got that later, and even then, I'm carrying a good bit of weight later. So now it's nice and light. Uh, but to be honest, my bag, I weighed the bag yesterday. Now, I think I'm doing better. I weighed it and it came back at two stone four. Now, that's good. When I first started doing multi day hikes, the bag was weighing in at four stone, but I'm getting better, getting lighter, still taking the right gear. Um, and yeah, on some of these multi day hikes, I'm gonna have uh, another hiking partner, which 
we can kind of distribute the weight a bit as well, which is good. <laughs> but looks good, doesn't it? Looks good. And calm. I thought I'd stop here because I've, I did climb up. I'm climbing up, but look at the views. <sighs> what a day today! <laughs> oh, loving it, just loving it. Now, over there. That is um, Helvellyn. Yeah, that's Helvellyn. And that is a uh, stride and edge that you can see. See? <laughs> so that's stride and edge. Uh, that's the. I can't remember the names. <laughs> uh, look, I'm here to just hike these. Uh, you know, like I said, done all these. Just, you've seen that in the video two, two back and previous this year. And yeah, I've done everything. You can see in these distances, I, I've I've conquered them, and I'll just keep coming back and back and back. Obviously, doing different trips. Like I said, I'm planning the, uh, planning quite a few trips abroad, and that's what will be on my videos. Just me hiking and just doing, just taking you, taking you with me on these journeys. But I'll hike these mountains until literally I cannot hike these anymore. They never get old to me. Like they don't get boring. They don't, you know. I just love coming back to these places, just words can't describe and the feelings you get from it is, is, is absolutely crazy. Right, I am going up there, then I'm going to go around the back side, come back down, um, I'm going to go down, I need to see how I am for time, um, I've probably got three hours, so because I've hiked that one over there before and oh, it's hell Velen, I've done all the edges. I might just go up to the top of here, come down, go back up, oh, no, come down, go round, nice little walk there, then go up that side, go on the top, come down, and then go back to the car. Then I'm gonna go into Ambleside, get the food, drive round to Langdale, go meet Nick, and go hike again. So I've got a brilliant day hiking. I absolutely love this. Right, onwards and upwards we go. <laughs> Can you hear that? Fighter jets are out today, practicing. They do it sometimes midweek and fly through the mountains and get good practice. Imagine what it'd be like to be in that thing, breaking the sound barrier. Well, I've come over to the top. 
Wow, it's roaring. I don't know if you can hear that. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Again, another good reason to come out and enjoy this magical place that we have on our doorsteps. was ace. Uh, so I came over the top then and it's like it's typical me this. So and this is the great thing about hiking. I got over to the edge then I was like let's just keep walking down this way. And then I decided to kind of change the route again. But look at this. Oh, can't not come on this way here. This is I sat on the drone, I was like, oh my god, look how cool that looks over there. So I was like, do you know what? Changing my path again, as I do. <laughs> Always changing my mind. But this is the best thing I think about hiking and adventures and just don't try set out certain paths because you can always go on a different one and a different one might be more exciting. I think I'm gonna film me climbing over it. <laughs> yes. No sleep when things run dry, I'm empty. I can't see, I'm blinded by this concrete. And I should call you, see what you've been up to. I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me Here I am not long How to move on without you, you Sticks back in my bag. Oh, hell of you. Sticks back in my bag. Can't be old on the GoPro and the sticks and I'm climbing. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. A 
love it. Love it. Best get down from this point. <laughs> uh, love a good climb. Yes, what a day today. Nice. Gonna go over there? Let's do it. <laughs> explain how peaceful this is here. It's breathtaking. My famous stride and edge over there. And you can see people on it. Probably won't be able to see it on this GoPro. But you can see people in the distance on it. It's just an absolutely... Everyone walks it, don't they? because it's so exhilarating and all this stuff but this one today has been funky do you know i chose a different path N not been on this path and uh, it's brilliant and look at this one coming down on stoop <laughs> uh, uh, i just it's so good to be out i think is it all the endorphins and all the rest of the stuff just come out and it makes you happy and makes you laugh and if you see at the end of the uh, video um when i was kind of signing out on chiffin 
Uh, we're in the car. I just couldn't stop laughing. Couldn't stop laughing. And I think this is what it does to you. It generally makes you happy and just laugh and just fun. I hope you can see how much it makes me happy because it's just it's just fun and good and clean and the air's clean. Now we work in London, we work in major cities and the air's all boggy and it's just not nice and no one's happy and everybody's just it's the hustle and bustle that we've got to put up with. And you come to this place and it's the freaking pole opposite. It's just that people are happy, there's not many people. Now, don't get me wrong, I like seeing people, I like chatting, and whoever knows me loves chatting. If you watch these videos, you know I can chat. I could chat glass eye to sleep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just these places, just, they're just fun. Just look, wow. Wow, wow. So, might do a little uh, little trick and hold the cam cam with my left hand, and you can kind of see me talking. Now, that mountain there. So, if you ever want to come and do the Wainwrights, these are all part of the Wainwrights, and there's many of them. I think. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna say how many there is, I'm just gonna put it on the screen now. Okay, you're seeing them. Now Wayne Wright. Um there's small ones, big ones, all that sort of stuff, and you can you can do a lot of them in quite a short time. Obviously Scarfell, Scarfell Pike, Great Eng, Great Gable, uh Alvelin, Skidor, um keep a few, you've got uh, pillar, head uh, skis, uh, you've got so many but these are the ones that are like the bigger ones but sometimes when you get to one of the mountains now when you go, so you're going to see this on the next video but when I go to Langdale you do like Bowfell and you can do you can do a few of them in there, pillars next to Bowfell so you can tick them off so if you want to go and challenge yourself in England, not just the not not Scotland and Wales here because they have their own and the Munros in Scotland are absolutely breathtaking out of this world and uh, to be honest if I had to pick some of the best mountains Scotland by far is the best it's just they're magical they're it's like uh, your heart stops on how crazy they are and obviously Alice Sky is part of Scotland they're just next level. So yeah, there's, there's different challenges you can do across yourself. There's coast to coast. Um, there is, if you want to go up to Scotland, you can go to do the Glencoes. You can, honestly, there's so many challenges that you can do. Set yourself targets, all that kind of stuff. You can just have an epic time. Look at these lovely sheep. Oh. I'm trying to walk slow, do not want to disturb them, this is their home, it's not my home. Please respect them, respect all the animals on these mountains, please, dogs. If you know there's going to be sheep, please put your dog on the lead. You know, my parents have got a dog, an amazing dog, but I'd always put it on the lead and their sheep. Sheep can get harmed and it's, this is their mountain, they maintain these mountains as much as you as much as you don't think of it but they maintain it they, they keep it where uh, we can go on the paths those doing the paths they're keeping the paths right they're keeping the grass down so please 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 just respect them Just come, jump up there, yeah. 
Go all the way around. Come here. I'm going to go along there, along the path, up and around. I'm going to go up, over, and then down the other side, and then head back down to the car. Me and my girl, we do cardio. I bang like Mario, cause dress like Sicario. But that catch is party on, uh, I'm a Gemini. And she has a Scorpio, but that don't cross the minds when we on the cardio. Bet you on a peak, bet you on a see something. We don't wanna give, we don't wanna give nothing. I'm a Gemini. to walk on where there's no paths and end up hiking through this. <laughs> Testing if they're just the waterproof. Gotta do these tests haven't you? Can't have some boots and then not put it through the test on the first outing. There is actually a path, but I decided not to do it. <laughs> it's boring. Don't do boring. Do adventure. Do fun. Do challenges. I dug deep. <sighs> so, I think spell is seat sandal. See that sandal? It's one of them. But I'll make the top. Yes. I started coming up and I was like, oh, this is a, uh, this is a little challenging. Especially I've just been hiking the others. Um, so I think if I come over here, this is officially the place. Now I'm going to go hike over to the side and see if it takes me towards the car. Hopefully it should. But we shall see. Oh, got a sweat on. <laughs> oh, it's got warm. It's looking absolutely glorious. What a day. What a day. Never give up. Never give up. We are capable of achieving far greater things than our minds think we can. Our bodies will keep going. It's only the mind that says no and the mind that says stop. Oh, sweaty. Yeah. This is, this is fantastic. Right. I'll keep filming. Um, bog. <laughs> As uh, I go towards the car. But heading down now. Then off to Ambleside.
get some of the food mentioned previously and head over to Langdale. So we're only going to go up to Langdale Lake today, but we'll head round towards Bowfell tomorrow and then we'll continue round and head back to the car to Thursday where I will then go and drive I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided go hike that Thursday night, stay over and head home Friday brilliant week <laughs> When I came down there from that climb just then and through the bushes took me onto the main road it was just too noisy to try even speak because the car's just going past non-stop but it's not the end of the day it's not the end of the trip it's just the end of this section <laughs> um back at the car now uh just gonna literally get out of these clothes let's get some comfies on again as I always say, it's perfect. Um, get some comfies. Oh. Then go ahead and tumble side to get the food. And then head over to Langdale. But I feel good. I feel really good. Um, done today. 7.92 miles on that little height. Been out five hours. Not a great speed, but it's, I'm not here for speed. Just here for fun. Um, it's 22 minutes past two, um, and yeah, I'll save that one. I'll put it into the little um, save. I'll put that onto the video and show you where I went and what I did, and I will start filming again later when I'm over at Langdale. So. Happy days, love it being out, love it. What a great day, what a great sunshine, weather. Just been all good all around. Boots, been good. So happy with them and keep going. Brilliant, I'm glad. I shall see you soon. <laughs> 